Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Yo-Yo Only Challenge Series. So in the last episode I asked you guys to answer one question and that was do you think the Amarok can be dropped in a corrupt biome or a hallowed ice biome? And you guys seem to think that you can find it in a corrupt or hallowed ice biome but what you guys seem to argue a little bit about was whether it would drop from normal enemies or just, oh a frozen key, that's kind of a nice find actually or whether it would drop from just um, ice enemies. So I thought that was a really great question um, because it seemed to divide a lot of people. So what I'm going to do is, if we manage to find an Amarok from a non-ice enemy, I'm going to go in and I'm going to update the Wikipedia page because the Wikipedia page doesn't actually really know what it really drops from. So I think that we could do the community some good and uh, I'll keep note of whatever enemy it drops from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go full force on farming for the Amarok because that's the last yo-yo we actually need for this section of the game. And if I manage to get that in a nice amount of time, we're going to do some farming for some accessories. And we're also going to do some fishing so we can get some really great potions. Because in the Wall of Flesh fight, I was like just lucky enough to get the good potions from the Shadow Chests. But the thing is, they're now gone because once you've used them, you've used them. So uh, we're going to go farming for our own, get some nice potions and really get geared up for this fight. That's what I really want to do. So I'm going to get farming and I'll let you know the results. So hey, just one last little thing before we actually get into full grinding mode. You see I got that frozen key, we obviously can't use the weapon that we get from that because it's a minion weapon. I believe it's the uh, the, uh, the Staff of Frost Hydra, um, but it is a 2,500 drop chance. So we managed to get that straight away. But you watch us, you watch us salvage this Amarok, you watch it take hours, right? <laughs> I just thought that was really funny, I really wanted to note that. Oh, hell yeah, we got one. All right, we actually got one. All right, I got it from a merman. Uh, or a mer... mer what are they called? I think they're called mermen. Merman? Something like that, yeah. Merman and then mermen, like, if there's a few of them. Yeah, so I finally got one, which is awesome. But I was just thinking in my head, because I wasn't expecting to get one, but I was just thinking in my head, oh, hey, there's a, uh, a rail cart system here. Um, I've been wanting to tell people this little thing that I learned. Um, so I'm going to show it now, so you may already know this, but since 1.3 has come out, you can now quick, uh, no, oh, there you go, you can quick right onto them, you don't have to right click anymore. You can, um, if you press your R key, it will uh, auto lock onto it, which is kind of cool, which is awesome. So that's part of uh, the new control system, because when they added, um, you know, quick mounting for controllers, they were like, hey, let's just do it for keyboards as well. So that is a really, really cool thing. All right, so we've finally found the thing we wanted, which is awesome. I'm kind of, I'm kind of like a little bit amazed. I was, I was just kind of not expecting it. Right. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go back to the house. That is the thirteenth video, by the way, which is really, really cool. I'm going to go back to the house. I'm going to uh, reforge it, and then I'm going to go off, and I'm probably going to do my fishing now. I may do my fishing now, or I may do some accessory hunting, because, like I say, I've been looking for some uh, accessories for the ant shield, and I'm almost there. I just need to kill uh, a select few enemies and then I've got it sorted. Alright, so let's put everything in there. And then uh, one thing I also did is I I uh, managed to um, I managed to turn this wooden yo-yo around. And I was so confused on how to do it. Because every time I took it off and put it back down again, facing different ways, it wouldn't work. Because that's what somebody said you had to do. Uh, but I now realise you have to destroy the wooden rack and place the wooden rack a certain way. And that'll help the yo-yo. So... Bam. Right? That is 12 yo-yos on the rack. The Amarok is the 13th. And yeah, it's a boring one. Damn, I want to reforge. Um, so that's really, really awesome. So we do need to reforge it. Now, I have been saving up money and hopefully I've got enough. Actually, let's take the, the stuff from you. Right. So godly is what we need it at. So we've kind of got to go for it. Damaged. Hurtful. Damaged. Man, this is like the other day when I was trying to reforge something and I had damaged every time. Demonic? Demonic seems cool. Ah, godly. Awesome. Right, having a really lucky day today. So that is a brand new yo-yo. And if we replace this with this, this is like a, a really great combo because you can do on fire and the ice burn debuff at the same time, which looks pretty awesome. I'll show you. Like that. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go off and do my own thing now. I'll probably do a little bit of fishing. If I do do some fishing, what I will do is I will uh, cut back in, tell you the fish I'm catching and why I'm catching them. But I'm sure you guys know that. You guys have seen my fishing playthrough in the past. So I'm going to get working on that because these are all big things that we need for the mechanical boss. So 
It's best if I do it off camera, just to help the episode flow a little bit better. But I will try and keep you informed. I don't want to do a, a complete jump cut episode. Okay, so real quick, I'm just going to show you how powerful we are now. Let's kill this dude. Really, really powerful. And the reason I'm farming here is because I need the uh, I need the megaphone and it drops from the little dark mummies. So I'm going to stand here for a little bit see if I can farm one out. Because that's uh, one thing that I do need. And then uh, that will help us out in the future, hopefully. Alright, so here is another one. I just need a megaphone. Alright, back to farming. Okay, so on my quest for an ank shield, I did manage to find a megaphone, which is what I was hunting for. And I didn't realise, but it's actually a really great way to get some gold. Like, I was getting lots of gold just from killing lots of dark mummies. And then selling off, like, I don't know, I must have had like 15 blindfolds at the end of it. Selling off all of those blindfolds got me even more money. So that was a pretty good farming method for money. And obviously, as we're playing just with a yo-yo, we can't do normal things like have an AFK farm because that's kind of cheating. Although I would kind of like that. So, you know, as, term, as, like, as far as um, getting money, like uh, the old-fashioned way in the game, I feel like that was a pretty good method. So I'm currently here in the dungeon again, and this has got nothing to do with yo-yos now, but I will talk about it real quick. Um, I'm just hunting for an Azar. An Azar is like, it's, a, it's an, an averagely rare um, accessory that you can get from the little cursed skulls that fly around. So I'm going to stick it out here, try and kill as many cursed skulls as her skulls as I can and hope to get one now like I say it's like an averagely rare item um, and the actual enemy itself is like an averagely rare item like you don't see them all the time so I'm just gonna stay here kill off as many as I can as fast as I can and um, hopefully that will increase the spawn rate for them and hopefully I'll get one and I think that may be I think it's not and one last thing and then that's it I've got everything for it so uh, I'm going to camp out in here, I'm going to put up some uh, blue candles, maybe adjust the area, get rid of the spikes, and um, farm it out. Well, you'd think I'd be done with this place, but I'm not quite yet. So one of the things that I did need to farm for was I needed to farm for the little, like, melee emblem that you get from the Wall of Flesh. Now, we only got a Ranger's emblem, I believe, when we first did it. So I'm going to farm this a few times until I get the melee one, because one, I'm going to need the melee one as its own accessory, and then later on, I'm just going to need the spear so I can make an Avengers emblem. So I'm going to farm for that now. I'll let you know how that goes. It may take a few times. It usually takes a few times, to be honest, to... um. When I've had luck with uh, farming this in the past, usually it's taken me a few times, so I'll let you know when I eventually get it, hopefully. Hey, one last thing. I also just realized that I uh, quick stacked my uh, my little guide summoner voodoo dolls into uh, the chest at home. Because of this sort inventory button, I've been accidentally um, confusing them and uh, stacking away some stuff. So that's something I need to learn for or to look out for or something I need to adapt to. So I'm going to have to farm for a little bit until I actually manage to get a guide voodoo doll, which is hilarious because we must have like 20 at the house. All right, so I actually got it on the first time, which is pretty awesome. I had all these, uh, I went back to the house and got loads of these as well. So uh, first time, I'm feeling pretty happy about that. I swear today's look has been brilliant. So we got the Amarok pretty damn fast. I got my megaphone pretty fast. And, uh, and now this, which is just really, really great. So that is one thing that I have to do um, in terms of farming today. Got to do some fishing, really got to do some fishing, got to work on that. And then uh, we're going to go and um, hopefully get ready for a really great boss fight, which is uh, which is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm making some preparations towards fishing. Now, I did a little bit of fishing in an old fishing spot that we made. We actually made a corruption fishing spot that got converted to Hallow, so it was actually a pretty good spot to uh, to do a little bit of Hallow fishing. However, I only actually managed to get one Prismite, which is the fish that we needed, uh, which will give a life force, so it'll give us like a little bit of extra health. Um, so yeah, I only managed to get one of them, so hopefully we can do it on the first attempt. Uh, but I'm actually having to make my own uh, corruption one now, because my corruption one, like I say, is now hallowed. So if you guys haven't seen this trick yet, you, uh, you just hold down click, you hold down left click here, and it will uh, slowly fill up the tank. As you guys may know, um, if you've watched my other series, I always keep a water bucket in my inventory for stuff like this. So I'm going to fill this up. I'm going to get us some Ebon Koi, which is going to give us plus... I think it's like plus 10 or 15% damage um, when we're actually facing things. Or it's going to damage reduction. I can't remember which one it is. There's, I know that the uh, the Crimson one uh, gives you the... I think it's called the... 
See, I'm going to botch the name, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I think that one's about critical damage, and I think this one's just about damage. Or damage taken? Hmm. Either way, it's kind of crucial, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to go fishing for a little bit, and then after that, I actually have all the fish I need, because we're going to use Iron Skin, Regen, Swiftness, uh, the Damaging one, the Crimson one, because I'm going to go back into a Crimson world. Um, and then we already have, like, the uh, Prismite for the Life Force, and then... Ooh, maybe some heart reach potions. I think I've got a few left though because I actually got some from uh, some pots in hell So heart reach would be really nice because one of the things I've done is I've set up a little two-way stadium where it's two like two boxes Two boxes full of campfires little heart uh, Statues got a heart lantern there. I'm gonna make some honey pools as well. I may make some honey pools It depends. I don't actually have any honey block left um so it should be it should be an interesting fight. The thing about this fight is making sure you've got all the probes killed, and then just kind of uh, balancing the fight so that you don't get hit by the head too much because the head deals like like over 200 damage if it manages because it has a ram attack in expert mode. Um, but yeah, so that's all I'm doing at the minute. Thought I'd keep you guys up to date, and uh, yeah, I'll let you know when we can actually do this fight, which should be really really soon. For you guys, for me it's like, I don't know, it's probably going to be like an hour. <laughs> okay, so it's finally time for the destroyer fight. So I went and got all of my potions, I got all of my buffs, and I think we're ready. Um, I even managed to craft some greater healing potions, which will do nicely. So for this fight, you want to focus on the little minions for the first little bit, and then you want to try and do as much damage after that. So, let's spawn this thing, let's buff up. And let's begin. Now I am using our little heart statues in this and it's going to make it a lot easier. Um, one nice addition, I'm using a cursed flame um, cursed flame flask to, uh, to improve things. Alright, where is this guy going to come from? Are we a little bit too high? I feel like we're a little bit too high. Let's see if he can get any higher. Um, no, is he going to come any higher? I think, we've, uh, I think we may have started this a bit too high. Or something like that. Something's gone wrong. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we started it a bit too high, which is kind of a shame. So we're going to have to stick to around here then, aren't we? Hmm. Alright, well, let's try and do as much damage as we can, and we'll try and flee as well. Um, and we'll remember that we have that big area in the sky, which is uh, which is nice. Got to make sure that we don't get hit by his head, because his head's going to do a hell of a lot of damage to us. So we have to be very careful of that. And yeah, this is going pretty well. This is going all right. As we uh, as we kill these guys, there is a little thing in the sky with our little heart lanterns on and such, and that's going to do good damage. Well, that's going to help us heal and such. And then we're doing good damage to the body as well. Now let's see how well we can do this fight because I've not actually practiced this one. I will admit this is one that I've not done a lot of. So um, so I'm interested to see. Ooh, got hit by the head there. Right, that's one thing we don't want to do. We want to keep moving left or right. Left or right, avoiding the head at all costs. Alright, okay, we're doing okay. So let's get rid of some of these probes. Let's get a few hearts going. Even kill that dude there. Alright. Okay, it's good because as we kill these probes, uh, probes uh, we are getting hearts. So that's nice. Alright, this is going to be quite a lengthy fight. Now I'm going to fly up for a little bit uh, to our little stadium up here and grab some, um, grab some life real quick. Just so we can uh, make sure that we're nice and healed. Alright, and then let's take on the dude again. Now, what's good about this fight is that we've got lots of uh, accessories with uh, warding on, so obviously our defense is such that so we can block a lot of his attacks. Uh, and you guys know his attacks. He's, he's like a standard destroyer, really. Just a little bit stronger. We just have to be really, really careful we don't get hit by the, hit by the head at this point. Because we're trying to fly back up here for some health. Uh, so let's not get hit by any lasers. Let's kill some probes off. Let's just wait up here for a quick second just to uh, just to heal up. Oh, he's killed one of our NPCs. God damn it, Edgar. What's going on? I don't even know which one Edgar actually is, to be honest. Hmm. All right, but it's okay to kind of stay up here and heal a little bit. Now, do we still have potion sickness? No, we don't. Right, but for some reason it, I was, uh, I kept trying to heal then, and I have a, uh, you guys may already know, so I've mentioned it before, but I use middle mouse button to heal, and for some reason, it's something to do with 1.3.1, .1, it keeps turning it off, like, that's my setting, and, um, uh, and, uh, I don't notice for a little while, I'm clicking, I'm like, oh, I must have potion sickness, it's okay, like, that's my fault, but no, 
<laughs> Alright, let's kill some of these probes off. There are a lot of probes around. Let's see if some of them drop some hearts as well, because that'd be nice. Oh, and he's coming up here now. Alright, he's coming up to our territory. Nice. Let's go in here a little bit, see if we can avoid some of these attacks. Is he going to come back up again? Oh, he is! Nice, he's staying up here. And this, uh, this is a nice fight, to be honest. This is a lot easier than I was expecting, but then again, we are kind of overprepared for this. I've been doing this over-prepared method for a lot of the Yo-Yo series, and it's been working pretty well. Alright, buddy, come on. Alright, at least here we can keep a safe distance. We can keep healing up. We can do our damage. But let's try and get a little bit more attack. Let's get a little bit cheeky, because he's, uh... Yeah, if you can keep... I've noticed if you can keep him in the sky, he'll turn around in the sky. And my god, though, with the Hunter's Potion and using this um, this green, like, Cursed Flames thing, we're making a really nice-looking destroyer. I mean, that's one thing to take from this fight. He does look pretty awesome, doesn't he? I mean, all green and red. He looks like a Rastafarian destroyer. I really like it. This is what the Hunter's Potion should always look like. <laughs> no, but it does look cool. Alright, let's not get hit by the head. And we got hit by the head. Alright, heal up. There we go. Gotta to remember to use my uh, my alternate heal button now. Alright, we're doing good damage. Man, it's quite a lengthy fight, isn't it? With a yo-yo. I wonder what the twins are going to be like with this. Definitely be an interesting one, that one. Alright, okay. Alright, he's, uh, he's dropping down now. He's on 1,000. Let's try and make sure we stay safe for the final part of this fight. Yeah, that's good. As long as you, uh, as long as we avoid the head, we should pretty much be fine in this fight. Uh, we do have pretty good accessories as well. Like we're using, um, I'll show you the accessories at the end for what we're using. Uh, but like I say, all of them have got warding on, so that helps a lot. All right, not got much left now, and he should be dead the second he pops out. There we go. All right, awesome. That was really good. Cool. And it was nice because I crafted some greater healing potions with some uh, pixie dust and some uh, crystals. Alright. Okay, well that's the first mechanical boss down. Now that's going to do it for today's episode. In the next episode, we're going to start the episode by getting the Yelits, And we're also going to get the Ko-2. Um, and then we're going to try and take on some other mechanical bosses. Maybe get like a full set of armor. Now I was going to... Oh my god, we killed the guide. Alright, there we go. <laughs> right, the one person that dies in the fight is my NPC. You trolls. Right, so uh, tomorrow we're going to be working on armor. Now, I was thinking about the hallowed armor, but I'm not too sure. So if you guys have any recommendations of what armor we should actually use, let me know in the comment section down below. You guys have got time to, um, to step in on this one. So let's open this up. And we got a soul of might, a mechanical um, wagon piece, and we got some hallowed bars. So unfortunately, we're getting into the territory now where we can get red armor and uh, the other armor that we need for the two yo-yos from expert mode bags. So if we do actually get one, that'd be pretty damn awesome. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Good morning, good evening. I hope you like dreaming. You live to learn and you learn to live. It's positive and negative. I can't sleep, but I dream, babe. I can't sleep, but I